All right, it's almost like enough time has passed to where I'm even questioning whether I can handle another rent video. But let's see what happens. I don't have many logs here. I just have a very huge concern, I think. I'm not sure if I voiced this concern previously at all. Hate for Minecraft. Respect. There's almost like a timeline again of these videos being made. And it started at some point. Huh. I probably even noted it down. And I talked about it. Okay, with MatBat. Then overpopulation. And my hatred for parents growing. It's essentially whatever this reality is, it's just awkward already. It's already awkward. It already asked me too many questions. Reality itself, not just the people. And silence creates more questions too. So you're not helping by being silent. I'm trying to answer everything, trying to do whatever it takes, man. Like, and I don't feel guilty. Okay, it's not my responsibility necessarily either to answer all the questions. There some hidden concern I have. Let's try and find out. I actually, yeah, I, f I do feel like I'm running out of energy to be able to do any of this or anything at all. Fuck yeah, dude. Would I just give up? Give it all up? How does it? How much it, does it matter? How do you escape your parents and when exactly that's possible? You know, what do you, what do you treat as like a, a truly sophisticated responsibility being held in your hands? Truly something you agree to do, you know? Is life something you have to agree to do? Because most of the time, you know, life happens and it, it slips out of your hands sometimes and it gets sad sometimes and it gets fucking weird sometimes and whatever you thought was consistent is inconsistent at all. But you have no knowledge potentially of what's happening at all. No knowledge at all. One thing you have to know from previous episodes I figured out Smart people don't consider COVID a threat at all. For me, and, to, and in order to be smart, you have to be alone right now. Being alone is actually easier than ever because people are overly egoistic. They think they can have anything and that's what they need, apparently. They start needing those things. But now, not only you live in your bubble, you are traveling in your bubble. You give your bubble wheels. You give your bubble a fucking demonic form of some kind. Not only you live in a bubble, you feed it. All... All your hopes and dreams now is to feed your fucking bubble so it doesn't get popped. Well, it doesn't work that way. You don't feed bubbles. You don't just sit there in your world and pretend that you know something. Unless you're alone. Then you can sit in your bubble like, like myself. Yeah. 
if you're completely alone and nobody else exists in your life, but that's that doesn't quite happen. People go in and out of bubbles too. And you never know when the companion shows up, right? I don't know. There's there's a big elephant in my room right now. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what, what to say to you, buddy. You're a big elephant. So just stay like this, right? If there's anyone else that shows up, we'll ask them questions, because clearly you can't do anything else but ask questions and pretend that you want to be helpful and all that shit, but like, you know that's a bubble. <laughs> that's just how you deal with things. And uh, it's it's not really growing on me, so we didn't have a really wholesome conversation. You just understand kind of my side of things. And hello. Okay. Uh, welcome. That's a weird one, though. That's a really big one. All right. Sure. I have never had anyone interrupt my fucking stream. Okay. That's interesting. I will always guess it's a fucking friend of, of some kind, but the timing is always key, I would say. It just always fucking creeps me out as well. And uh, your opinion of things can change super fast. Again, the bubble pops. Your opinion changes incredibly fast about things. But, uh, you know, I always wanted to be able to communicate with everyone. Even managing a simple thing like, oh, okay, how communication works. I honestly have no idea. Alright, alright, okay. Yeah, it just spawn is a big headache for me. I'm not gonna lie. It's like you fall in love with something, okay. I understand. But, uh, it's, it was your choice. It wasn't my choice. See, that's kind of crazy, right? My choice was to make something. Your choice was to fall in love. This is where things are going to get very quickly crazy, I would think. Because these choices are kind of a between a ice wall. There's nothing neither of us can do, basically. And yet you've chose to fall in love with something. And mess up the entire fucking ecosystem, I would say. You know, that's kind of fucking weird. You know, I would... Probably have better conversation with strangers. You know? That's kind of fucking crazy. Because if you fall in love with my work, who am I? Am I still a fucking garbage human being that deserves to be alone and deserves to be smart? Nobody deserves to be smart, by the way. Because holy shit, is this a burden and not actually a positive thing? So how do you describe a person who does not have a burden anymore? I don't know. You can't say stupid. 
that's only two words I know. And honestly, I'm trying. This is my work. This is how I do work. And you, you have seen how I did work with Spawn. How that works, basically. I picked something that's a, a work frame. I did my work. But how the fuck do you fall in love with work? Someone else's work. Well, of course, you fall in love with work because it's done for you. But it's just so fucking stupid. People fall in love what's done for them. Not necessarily for you specifically. It's just done. So you can take it. And maybe use it somehow. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a huge struggle, I would say. Understanding what spawn means in my life. You know, I'm, I'm taking a step back once more. Once more, it's like, yeah, you can be successful doing something and creating a product. Uh, why not be outrageously successful and not do anything at all? And not uh, just fucking give up. Be successful fucking dying. Yep. What's that? I mean... There's probably many, many reasons of why Ariana Grande also says, like, oh, it was the best career year of my life and the worst year of my actual life. It's just something that happens, okay? Those, when those things, in your career attacks your life uh, that's a nasty crisis that every artistic person is gonna go through especially if they're just going through life alone so they can pour as much time to art as they fucking want you know I'm I'm opening the doors for people to come in and uh, say that they care about Spawn or whatever. And I care just a tiny bit more because of that. But that doesn't mean, you know, like, you s now you get to contribute. Congratulations. I'll keep m pushing forward. I'm just saying you get to contribute. So you'll be able to blame yourself if you haven't. And uh, you must understand, like, we're technically neighbors, right? Okay, you like something, you like my work. So potentially what, what we're looking at is we're neighbors. We're going to spend a little bit more time because I invaded your life. I literally fucking invaded your life. I'm sorry. Okay, I spent too much time alone. I'm sorry. I invade people's lives now. Okay, and honestly, it's it's gonna get worse. This video is gonna get so much worse, so much faster. Which, uh, you know, because I have feelings, but the moment I start laying those feelings down, it's a whole fucking other level. I don't know where it's gonna go. Just like when programming, you don't know what's gonna happen. You literally don't know what product you're gonna push out. You know nothing about it. Because nobody has any expectations whatsoever. And when they do have expectations, those expectations actually ruin your life a lot more than help you build the next thing. So, uh, this, this stuff is really rigged. I'm just not kidding, but you love my work. Thus, I invaded your life. Congratulations, this happened. Sure, you can say I did it for free and you haven't lost anything in particular or value. But it sits there, okay? It sits there like a fucking bomb of some kind. I can't necessarily just throw whatever. I want you to know 
for you to know. Again, that's that's another thing uh, because uh, potentially you understand what I'm doing, what I was trying to do, why what I did was fucking simple and awesome, right? And it's just you know that's that's the part of my work. That's the way that I do things. I do th things when it's simple and pretty much obviously need to happen, right? I play too much Skyrim, and here you go. A bunch of skills on Minecraft. Figure, figure the rest out for yourself. I put still somewhere, you know, this thing exists. So the skill list still exists. And it's pretty much like the seed of how would the game look like if I made it again. Right, I, I already talked about it. I can't stop talking about things uh, because I, I simply need to know what I'm feeling to today. What kind of uh, emotions I have accumulated. And the problem is always like, time is limited. Time is like super valuable. And it's so problematic all of a sudden. This is quite a problem. So, when you love something, but it requires time, you're entering quite a dangerous territory, actually, for me. And I I've said the same thing. There's an ice wall between the consumer and the creator. You're not related in any way. Even though you fucking consume what the creator is creating. Like, you think you're related? You think you have what it takes to fucking approach the creator all of a sudden? Oh, I'm a big fan of yours. You know creators don't like that at all. They will do their job for your sake. They will do the job for your sake. Your sake. They were not doing it for their sake, which is fucking self-destructive. Or... In my case, I'm doing whatever it takes to figure this shit out so I don't get into the, this trouble at all. Or I just stop being a creator. Okay, I become something better than that. So, for me now, time is like incredibly precious and I, I don't know where, where to put it in. Especially when, you know, what my job is is no longer simple. You know, I, I did the simple stuff. I don't find simple stuff anymore. I don't find stuff that's simple and immediately rewarding, so I stop what I'm doing. It's just, uh, now that's simple. In other words, okay, so I pick up Minecraft, I pick up advent uh, Adventure Craft. It's mostly Adventure Craft that I pick up. Uh, I enter these, the exploration stage, right? And the fucking learning stage. It's already curved up, so like, oh, uh, okay, whatever. Then, uh, you know, the establishment stage. He fucking sees my work. Okay. I'm trying a little bit harder because, like, I want to impress someone. Right, so I, I keep the fucking slope. Uh, and this the story actually is quite more steps than just three. So let's... Uh, See it, man. The story of Spawn. How Spawn came to be. So I discover Adventurecraft, by the way, and, and Minecraft through my friend. So, thanks to my friend, I guess. But uh, how should I feel about this? What should I do? There's incredible, incredible bag of questions all of a sudden. Just because my friend introduced me to Minecraft, Obviously, Minecraft would blow up, right? Nobody knows that. Nobody knows. So, I don't know. I have to just assume magic happens. You know, this is the craziest part. Magic happens and I'm here, right? I start my journey in AdventureCraft. Okay. What, what What's my first impression, by the way? I, I pretty much pick up the, the website. I pick up a bunch of maps. I start deconstructing things. 
I started learning how it all works. So I, I think I'm looking into a bunch of maps, uh, you know, at least a few, playing around. Then I pick up with the adventure craft stuff and uh, try build my, my own stuff. And then again, as I've said, Cryact actually recognizes my work out of nowhere. Okay, he actually comes in himself, which uh, helps tremendously. So I, I put extra effort just to make sure, you know, it's it's all good. And this little extra try hard thing, that's not something I usually do, okay? This is something that people demand me to do. Okay, even when they don't say it, they kind of say it, I need to do it, okay? I need to fucking respect. So the respect for adventure craft is kind of goes from here to here, right? It's like, well, kind of moving on here. Now I push even further because like, okay, so I've done this thing, but it actually didn't came to be somehow or did but i picked up a new project to do i'm not sure what how it exactly went down this wasn't spawned by the way this was song after gone uh s a g wow okay um this was the spawned time so I'm like, well, I'm still learning. So I can do constantly, I can do better. I'm still climbing. It's not a big deal for me. Right, I, I keep finding new things. Uh, and I, I will use the same amount of respect, because like this respect, you know, I, I, I like quantifying respect if it's completely new. So for me, it's an, another form of magic. I'm like, okay, I can add even more of that here if needed, but I didn't need it. It's all mine. It's all fucking spawn boys. Or rather, let's put it like this. Okay. I didn't need it, this shit. He just recognized me, so I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll give you my map. My map sucks anyways. But this, this was a lot bigger project all of a sudden. I kind of figure out what I want to do. With Song After Gone, it was just a simple map, you know. You go through, I, I still was exploring AdventureCraft in a way. So it was my first map, but it's still exploration stage. It's still pretty much the same stage. But again, Cryx pushed me just a little bit forward. Now, uh, with the Creeper's Forge, I kind of now knew the idea of what I wanted to do. I kind of saw it, it, the simplicity in the idea. So, you know, I, I kept doing the same thing, the same slope thing. Nothing partic particularly spiky happened, okay? Because the idea is very simple. You do stuff in adventure craft, you collect loot, and then you sell loot uh, and upgrade. Okay. So, whatever. Let's say kill stuff and then upgrade. Uh, whatever. The, this was era like almost like. There wasn't too many games on the phone. Uh, the phone I, I probably didn't even had a smartphone at that point. It's 2010. Oh, by the way, yeah. Cute UK reference. Kill an upgrade, boys. Uh, yeah, so... That spawned the first map. But I'm like, but I still like adventure craft, so I keep pushing forward. But the, the weirdest thing happens as I do this, or not so weird, 
So this thing actually gets re released in public. So this guy actually like gives me like half uh, of respect, I would say, and, and puts it on top. This is not necessarily what I wanted to handle. It's like extra work that I then thought I can handle. But because I, I wanted to push forward, right? I thought I, I could, you know, escape this madness that was happening. Uh, that people picked up my map. It's a little bit maddening. Nothing particularly happened, okay? I didn't build a community of any kind. Um, but uh, people were watching. People were commenting. Okay, people were playing. Cinnamon Toskin played my map. This particular thing. So you know, it, it got me a little bit on the edge. And uh, I needed to keep improving because I had nothing better to do. So I went on like, okay, I want to improve. Uh, and it's still just a slope thing because the formula is now invented. I don't have to spend too much time understanding what this is. Kill and upgrade. However, I added a bit of a different... A, a bit of an additional thing. I wasn't exploring adventure craft anymore. Okay, this was still kind of a, an exploration stage. And this was just me pushing the game out. So I kind of knew, but I kind of didn't. So the same goes here. I kind of know, I kind of pushing it, it out. And uh, this gets even weirder. Because I'm still exploring, and I'm exploring something completely new, which is code. Okay, I didn't use code before in my uh, in my other in my first map, or my first map that wasn't quite released. So um, it's probably somewhere out there as well, downloadable. I probably have a copy of it. But it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. I really, I really would just cross out and just get rid of everything. Even though I felt nostalgic, I played a bunch of hours. I still feel like you don't want to fucking strangle this cute little thing so it doesn't bother you anymore. It's so distracting. It's so annoying. But, um, so I, I figure out the code. So I kind of reversed engineer the respect part of AdventureCraft. Because what AdventureCraft was literally offering is that you can extend the functionality of your game beyond what's normally perceived as a map. So you think you open a map and you expect certain things. Well, I was starting to break those expectations down. I was starting to break the expectation of what AdventureCraft has to offer anymore because it gave me code it gave me actual tools so of course I used them and this obviously gets in a little bit of a hiccup at some point but I do release and with a trailer I pretty much finished the project however there is a hiccup uh, because uh, the Creepers Forge turned out to be more uh, let's say the code part didn't quite work. This is why I came back nine years later. I had to fix something very terrible. So I'm already like actually missed one piece. But even worse, there's also a part of the code that I tried to write here. And it also didn't work. And it has to do with NPCs. And those NPCs would have lagged the game out incredibly badly. <laughs> and look, like now, I don't, I'm not quite proud of my project anyways. And uh, the fact that I didn't fucking fix this for a long, long time also makes me quite uh, frustrated, I would say. Like, wow, this is... This did not happen very well. Obviously, 
Cryic could have just jumped into the code, saw how fucking stupid I was doing things, and just improved on it, right? Picked up my map, but at this point, he left. So not only my code was not working, nobody was working. I was completely alone at that point. But I had something, barely made it, put a crown on it, I said I... It, it was pretty obvious I wasn't going any anywhere with this anymore. And so I immediately picked up Unity. It's like, well, uh, that's it. At the same time, my life was going even further down because I was living in orphanage at that time. For one year in orphanage, but that means my mom can't take care of me properly. That means I'm not at home, I don't have a lot of free time, and I'm actually under a threat. Like my laptop's being borrowed all the time. Nobody's really helping me to like keep my laptop in my possession, and uh, I wasn't quite safe enough, or didn't felt that I had enough time to work on my thing. And the thing was, well, kind of finished, kind of like gave me trouble. I try to invent new things that would, you know, recode adventure craft. Just uh, replace everything pretty much. But, you know, like, that's a very desperate move. That's a not simple move at all. And it obviously failed miserably, I would say. Well, I wouldn't say quite miserably. I made it to some degree, you know, making an inventory that's customized, creating a mouse, understanding that AdventureCraft is even capable of giving you tools like this, while well, Minecraft is potentially lagging behind when it comes to that. Like, I don't know. I don't want to pick up any of the tools right now what Minecraft has. I've learned it's a very linear progression, and if Minecraft has these tools, I would have to do exactly the same route until I learn what is possible. The same route as go as I go up, I also go down. And drilling down, that requires an incredible new resource. Uh, just, you know, your respect goes up, so yes, eventually you kind of gobble it up and take over the legacy of something that has been created. The same way, like, if someone gives you a legacy over a house, you wouldn't know how to use a fucking house. Unless you're trying, uh, unless you're building something next to the house, or you kind of need to use the house, but you still wouldn't use the 100% of what the house has to offer. This legacy that all of a sudden happened, I couldn't quite take care of. I didn't knew, but I was le I at least had the proximity to start learning what it was about. Start asking the right questions, because the, the situation has to be so incredibly correct for these things to happen. Holy shit, right? And I'm not sure if I can repeat the process. I just at least learn what it is and how fucking crazy it is. And so the unity... Was uh, after a lot, a lot of years. All I've learned, Unity sucks. Okay, Unity is not efficient to give you Minecraft to deliver you Minecraft. But there, there is something you can do. You can still buy uh, one Minecraft simulator. That's out there on the asset store that works and use it as you see fit uh, I can't afford it yet uh, and right now my life is like on a on a slow pace if if I can't afford it or if I can make my own engine which I would rather do my own engine by the way because I'm still scared that I can make it even more efficient <laughs> That's not exactly it. And the scariest part is that nobody else did it. I just saw one 
asset that nailed it somehow. What's wrong with people? Why is it so difficult? Why Unity does not have tools to create, to recreate Minecraft? These questions I will never have an answer to, but I know not only I invested this lineup here, I don't want this to end quite yet. So I've been questioning what is going to be my next move. And my next uh, move kind of never happened, actually. I was still rebuilding over and over again since I, un until I can have something. I've tried so many things by now. And one thing happens to work. And potentially now, now that, you know, I have a sizable audience holding their breath, I kind of have to jump in one more time and deliver the true potential of what I found. Perhaps this video is exactly that. Perhaps I have to just take a step back and uh, forget about it, what the problem is. But uh, here you go. What the concern is. My concern, I would say the best concern, obviously, to say immediately. It's like, I'm not making the next thing yet. <laughs> That's That was my concern. You saw what my concern is. Uh, I couldn't quite get to the next step. Alright, so Spawn the Creepers Forge was released 2013, I believe. The last iteration or something. And uh, that's that's where it ended. And at the same time, I, I try to do something cool with Unity. Unity, I mean, AdventureCraft, AdventureCraft fell apart. The tools weren't quite good enough or there was too much lag there was too too many problems again i i had problems in my life but after nine years of this entire journey as i came back uh the the first uh, yeah, yeah yeah the so you saw i i made the the map number zero and map number one, however, was released in 2011 somewhere. N near September. I still have the download sheets, but like it doesn't matter. I can't r quite open it up that easily right now. So I just don't care. If it's not easy, I don't quite care. Unless it's like ridiculously rewarding to do, which it will be, if I just do one simple thing, so, which I have been waiting to do for two years now, just came back and like, okay, I can do it, and I can in fact do it, and I slowly, still had to like, reframe what it is, exactly how it's gonna work, uh, potentially there's still unanswered questions, Cause like when it when it comes to work, everything is a lot slower. It's great. It's great that people like it. I can understand that. It's still hard to understand like life right now because everyone is uh, falling into a similar trap of becoming a creator and bumping into a wall of like, okay, what is that next big thing? And you can't quite get the next big thing. And the thing that you just made becomes Minecraft, and the next big thing does not become anything because you can't quite do it. And it be, it can be be a very depressing thing, I would say. For me, because my projects were a lot smaller, uh, to live through a similar lifestyle is notch, I would say, and that's kind of interesting. I need to know what it is. Obviously, it's almost like, you know, what you created is still blowing up. It doesn't stop blowing up. 
like it's crazy. Yeah, that's what it means. When I created spawned, it's still there and it has its own weird type of growth. Okay, it grows within people. I invaded their lives, it grows within people, whatever, right? Uh, just like Skyrim grows within me, so I had to create spawned and add the skills, add that little S thingy. Okay, add a little bit of a Skyrim skill tree in there to spice things up. And it almost became what it was. You increase the skills and then you upgrade. Uh, or get to the next thing. You don't even... Uh, you don't even have to call it killing anymore. Right? Or harvesting or whatever. All that has been replaced into skilling. Actually, that's fucking stupid, by the way. Why is that so fucking easy? Killing turned to skilling? What the... How? Who did this, man? That's already, like, well, too much magic for me. I have to go get drunk and, uh... Take a step back from all this work that I'm doing. This, for me, that's what it screams. You don't just put an S and all of a sudden it's a new word that you actually needed this whole time and then they upgrade. At least at least it's not a subgrade, okay, or something. Man. Need to upgrade. Obviously it has quite nice words put together. Upgrade up your grade. Okay. Of what tools you're using how much care you put in basically allows you to upgrade things. That's quite nice. I had quite a nice gameplay with Spawn the Creeper's Forge. But that next thing, man, I need a new platform, as you can tell. I just, you know, when, when the platform goes from underneath you, I mean, I try to code, right? You saw what I tried to do and it all failed in 2013. So technically it has a completely new story now, right? Of me searching for uh, my platform. And I said I, I picked up Unity mainly. Platform. At, at one point I inserted that, okay, I'm gonna return to Game Maker even. All right. I care about Game Maker quite a bit. So there was like, what? Game Maker, seriously? There was also an era between like for like one year where I was making a ball game a ball game so I knew I had very limited amount of voxels that I can play with also I realized I can make a ball game and actually import it to my phone and it would work and it just blew my mind right it's like these small elements all of a sudden make things work one particular thing very recently that I found that really broke my heart and one specific attempt that I did so very recently I did an attempt that there's still a game out there there's still a video that's very recent okay so you can look back uh, actually is it next page now am I really that nuts Hey, 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 how do you go to the next page? First page. Where is next page, dude? Do I really have to do this? Wow. Here it is, honey spawn. Seven, seven views. That's great. Uh, I got bored and I decided to make this thing happen. Well, yeah. So honey spawn, right? Just a little bit of a puzzle game. Why does this matter? Because it's almost like the same repetition. I almost go back to the game maker style where it's just 2D. 
But what really pissed me off, I, I try to put a heart in as an image, an image of a heart. And I'm like, what? Are you, why is it the edge is so ragged? Why is it so pixely? Why does it look so fucking bad? It really pissed me off. Unity just can't handle images. Can't handle rendering 2D images, 2D sprites. I'm like, whoa. And it's not just that. Unity has poor functionality in general when it comes to 2D stuff. I'm just completely shocked how low tier, how low effort it is. You know, something simple as like, okay, I put a heart here, it has to stay here, it has to be exact size on this part of the screen, but holy shit, you change your resolution, or anything else changes, or a fucking heart just becomes uh, a part of something else. Like, your resolution constantly changes. Your screen on Unity, you know, you have your gameplay screen right here, and you maximize your screen. Those are different resolutions. And your heart keeps moving around. What the fuck? Your heart keeps scaling around like, like this. What happens? So, there's a very specific way to set up that your heart sits in one place. And looks nice. But even then it doesn't look nice. Because the, it, it, it's, itself it looks fucking pixelated. I open up Jimp. I open up a fucking drawing system, uh, a dro an app for drawing. It's called Jimp, okay. And it looks good. The fucking heart looks good. So the difference between Unity and Jimp is huge now. Holy shit! I want to render my shit properly. What's the big idea here? And uh, these sort of things are not small for me. I can't fucking just sit here and like take it. Yeah, you understand the concept of a heart. You see kind of something that looks like a heart. Yeah, it can look pixelated and uh, chipped out and you can still understand it, right? You can still play the game and I can still make the game. I get that part, but it's just, I just tried to make a 2D game and I bumped into this of very very frustrating deal because it's not just going to be a heart it's going to be a lot of elements that are out of control it look they look horrible they will look horribly and pixelated they have to be catered to the specific like size and re resolution you can't resize basically uh those uh, sprites you can't resize them how the fuck does that make sense you can't resize something no, in Jimp it looks normal, and that's all I'm gonna say. And in Unity, and you know, I don't know what kind of engine handles sprites properly, but it's just such a mild little thing that I can't believe. I literally can't believe. Fucking crushed my soul when I had to find out. Maybe they even fixed it. I can't even use the newest version of Unity because my code gets uh, destroyed. It actually has the same problem as, as Minecraft. It constantly gets updates and I don't necessarily know what those updates really are and how they're going to help me particularly. You know, that's a very, very terrifying platform. You need to be able to create your own platform and that's all that matters and Unity can go fuck itself. I'm sorry about that. You kind of have to now get out of my life. And technically, what I'm doing is using Unity to delete Unity because it's actually pretty good at doing that at least. I'm I'm so thankful. Just like Adventure Crowd was almost good enough to delete itself and give me all the tools and just leave me alone uh, with whatever I wanted to do and everything would work. Now, what I'm expecting to happen is that when I put this heart in 3d space everything will just naturally work the heart will scale up properly everything in 3d space what's wrong you can rescale uh, models in 3d space and nothing will change but all of a sudden when you put things in 2d space 
shit goes nuts on Unity. So I'm like, no, Unity. I don't think you understand how fucking space works anymore. Like, you should be able to put elements on the screen. At, and it's simple as that. You just put element. Why? Why? For, for, and it's not pixelated, too. Like, these, these sort of things really pissed me off. So the two and and they're very specific things they're very specific they're not fucking magic even some people who are watching this right now can probably understand what i'm talking about okay and so this is the huge question mark am i gonna be able to finally after all these frustrating things because there's a story right in between there's a some kind of story still of more frustrating things happen i put up pick up some voxel engine and I picked it up many many times over actually in the past and the future I pick up the same voxel engine uh, which looked nice but the biggest downside and again unity fucking did it okay or I, I don't know who to blame but the loading time was incredible for voxel models and even then I picked it up the last time I picked it up I'm like I can still work with this it's still not that bad it's just the loading times of just generating anything at all you can still push through it you can still make a good game I can still recreate spawn the creepers forge but I needed a little bit more okay I needed a good editor when I picked up the editor, it was garbage. I need to create my own editor. And honestly, you know, I, I can still probably go back to that, except this is now obsolete. This is now old. Okay, wh whatever happened here is old. I would pick up a new engine and it will cost me money. And who knows whether it works because it's going to try and use Unity, right? Like, I can't trust too many things here. I, when I'm making this move, when I'm adopting a completely new system, it has to be 100% correct. I must not fail this. If I fail this, I'm a fucking loser because I, I, I try really hard not to fail. That's pretty important here. So this was pick a voxel, basically. You can still find that information on the internet. What pick a voxel is... In between here, I was working. I was still working this whole time, I think. And uh, here I was escaping the work and going home and then working on RuneScape. But uh, this is pretty much where my dad destroys my laptop. So the ball game goes off out of here, basically. It no longer is a thing. Uh, so, uh, it destroys my laptop. All that data gets lost. All that shit. And I have to rework everything. Here, I'm, I'm traveling, right? So, to UK. So, it still doesn't happen immediately. And I still, I'm learning how to re-establish myself. But then I realized, like, okay, not only was my dad pissed off that I was, like, doing something with my computer, like, late at night or something. Because, hey, I would have, like, uh, I don't know, the shifts that would just make me awake at night. Yeah, I probably would have night shifts. But who knows? It's hard to tell right now. And uh, so my laptop gets, gets destroyed, my dad moves away. My life gets a little bit easier. I buy a new laptop, which is not capable of uh, giving me a platform back to Unity. I'm not even sure what I do. So for a period of my life, I'm not sure what I'm doing at all. Probably don't worry too much about programming at all. Um, 
And still, after coming back, after being able to, to work on it, on things, I still don't quite do it. But now I'm thinking about ray tracing, actually. I'm thinking about how things could be rendered. This is why I re-pick up pick a voxel. Uh, I'm not even sure when I first encountered this engine to, to, to be sure. It has to be somewhere here, okay? It had to be hinted somewhere here, but I re-picked it up almost a few times, pushed it to some degree each time on my computer, which I bought, that was now capable of doing things. But at the same time, I also bought another new laptop. Uh, so I had this uh, this new laptop, so I bought something new. And then I bought another one that was significantly better. Okay, it was um, HP Envy. Now I was capable of doing things properly. And this was the time, somewhere here, right? Kind of juggle two things. But I discovered something incredible, okay? So I, I discovered the compute shader stuff. The ability to graphically uh, render things without, you know, worrying about models or anything. You literally, you want a fucking tri triangle on a screen, just write some code, you have it. You have a fucking, you don't have to ask Unity, please, please can you give me a fucking triangle? Oh wait, you don't have a triangle? So I have to literally create a triangle with code anyways? What's the point? If Unity can't fucking give me a triangle, I'll have to make a triangle a different way, okay? And if it asks for me code, it doesn't matter where I code. So I'm technically doing graphical work at the same time while I'm being demanded to do modeling work. If I'm manipulating triangles, at this, at this point here, when I picked up the new laptop, at some point I actually uh, moved in somewhere else, or I started moving basically, right? I started moving. Uh, I w I needed to help an old man a little bit. I lost my job at the same time just because my phone malfunctioned, which is a f a ridiculous reason. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, I, I just thought they didn't have any work for me, but apparently I just lost it all. I, I was also a little bit embarrassed by a few mistakes that I made, so like, I made a mistake of like not not asking whether I had work or not. Uh, so they just literally just dropped me the P45, which is like, well, you're fired technically, so I just got fired. Uh, and I was looking for a new job, but I was also trying to freelance a little bit. I was looking for like an internet work. If I can find something like that, I would be able to bail myself out. I was able to find something while I was at home. So here I'm also like moving out, right? To UK. I was able to find something here as well. So when I was making a ball game, that's when I discovered, oh, I can import it into my phone because I needed that knowledge. I was working for some app developer, right? I, I needed to prove that I, I'm capable of working with him or for him. And I wasn't able to do that, actually. Again, I just did a simple embarrassing mistake and, you know, you're out. And uh, the the girl was saying the same thing. The, the girl that uh, was hoping to find a freelancer for herself. If you make a mistake, you're out. 
and it's just what the fucking life all of a sudden am i living right now one mistake and you're out few strikes and you're out what the fuck there's no negotiation all of a sudden you know let's go back a little bit so here it is i'm now showing Uh, how I was looking for new platform okay adventure craft not good enough for me right now I need something that will f future proof me if I'm not future proof I might have to restart something it might not you know grow in a way that I like I will have uh, very little control uh, of my project I don't want that to happen I want to be 100% secure so it's a long journey I I have no doubt it's fucking weird or it was weird this whole time but uh, all of this is like very important uh, I have very good reasons why I do this Anyways, and yeah, potentially like, oh, my friend can give me something, you know, that sort of stuff. This is why I said magic happen and protect, potentially I need magic sometimes. Or uh, I'm now forcing magic to happen because I'm observing multiple people uh, as best as I can in case they have ideas too. You know, now I'm like fishing for it as well. In case I miss something, in case they have different lives or like... They figure out what what this thing is like where uh, at the very beginning I learn if you make a mistake you're kicked out you're kicked out of competition basically as if as if having a job is a competition like who, who fucking thinks that way it's un unbelievable to me i would say since when having a job is competition if you're doing something do it you know just just fucking do it if you fail something you pay for it you don't get kicked out how the fuck does that make any sense right i make a mistake i pay for it i clean it up i backtrack i do whatever it takes you know adventure crowd just fell out what happened how did you get kicked out? Well, Minecraft keeps updating. So, Adventurecraft couldn't quite keep up. So, it got kicked out. That's the fucking problem. You know, things constantly progress. And you get kicked out because like, oh, I, I don't feel you can keep up quite to my demand. So, there... Uh, there is a word that I use. Governism happens okay you can't quite keep up with my demand wow is did i heard you correctly did you said bubble 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 because that's what they say it's like i have a bubble and i don't like you so you're gonna get kicked out you're not supposed to like me i'm supposed to be useful i'm here to try and be useful congratulations basically and if you find a better bubble for me then you can get rid of me this is like so frustrating you're not just supposed to be fired from your job uh, but uh, that's you know that's how life is I can't change it it's quite an element that destroys my life right now so I'm saying specifically I'm in a deadlight I have no solutions to this this is ridiculous 
And this is why when I want to do something, I want to make sure it's perfect because there is nothing for me pre-built. There's nothing for me. Okay, even Hytale still not out there. They treat they're, they're ridiculous by the way. It's so ridiculous. Hytale claims it's building something for the community. Oh wow, dude. Oh, it doesn't hurt me at all, guys. It looks good. I will definitely want to invest my time into this pro this new project. Potentially can spawn adventure craft on the side, you know, it can shit out something like that. And repeat history. Wow, I would love that to happen. No. I'm I'm totally fine, you know, like reliving history of adventure craft. Yeah. I can do that. I already did that. And I'm gonna be the master of doing it. You know, like, yeah. Sign me up. However, uh, I still have a chance to not wait. But Minecraft community was uh, built on... Uh, Slow uh, on on open platform. Let's put it this way, you know the the reason why Minecraft was so successful it was open very early for people to buy into it. Like, how do you fuck it up? You know, if you truly you truly a fan of Minecraft, how did you create it a triple A title that's gonna be shit out on a specific date that we still don't know, by the way? What are they developing on Hytale right now? That we... Why are we being teased? What is happening? I'm, I'm literally like... Are you fucking kidding me? Mode right now. Like an absolute are you fucking kidding me mode. Is happening there. But that's it. Not only is just one project that pissing me off right now. I have saw I've I bumped into a person that also is making something cool, you know, somewhere around here, somewhere where I already had my project done. Uh, in a way, like I knew what I'm gonna be doing. I knew I knew what to chase now. Uh, forward, so I I met a person that made uh, vintage story. Okay. Vintage story. You can look it up. He's still out there, probably making shit. And, uh... He's actually also, like, willing to actually spend time with me. Which was weird. I'm not gonna lie. He sent me a fucking cookie. So, uh, that's... That is weird. Guys, that, that is weird. I'll take the cookie, but it actually, I don't know. It kind of costed me a little bit more <laughs> than I was hoping for. And uh, the cookie was not tasty, but I it's, it's an interesting surprise. I'm not going to lie. So uh, that's where I get the cookie. He also gave me an offer to like be a builder. I didn't know how to build things, so I kind of have to refuse. I'm only here for coding. In a way, I could potentially build things anyways, but I, I needed to like enter the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could probably code myself some tools and, and build some shit. I could have probably done that. And because of Spawn the Creeper's Forge, I probably knew what to build as, as well, because I. I'm like, okay, I should probably build some areas for creepers. Nah, it's just so simple. But it's also not simple at all because now I have to work for someone. And it's the same kind of principle. When you work for someone, it, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks unless they just really want to pay you. Really want to give you a job. Otherwise, 
it's a struggle to always appeal. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. How the fuck do people do that? So, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, right now, looking back, like, that's probably, that probably was a good opportunity. I just needed to talk to him more. Uh, so, because I wasn't, now I'm like, yeah, I, I, this is too embarrassing, guys. Too embarrassing. Yikes. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of opportunities that slip through my fingers. Uh, but that's, that's the biggest question right now. Ray tracing? How does it work? Will it work? Again, I, st I still have it. The project, I can open it up. The only thing I need is the objects. Movable objects being rendered. Then it can be anything. It can be a fucking heart all of a sudden. And it will actually scale properly. Because in 3D space, I can scale an image in Unity properly. Uh, and I, I won't even use Unity rendering at this point. I will use just ray tracing as my rendering. My rendering, basically. Everything is from ground up. You can't make this up. I have a computer. I have ones and zeros. Everything from, from ground up. The only thing that I'm not pissed off about too much is programming language. I'm actually pissed off about programming language too, by the way. So... You know, it's it's not a good fight. It's not an easy fight at all. And, uh, yeah, I, I didn't want it to quite just be a small person who ends up... You know, this, this is not my project, right? Just because an opportunity, this is just a cash opportunity. Which is now kind of actually bigger now that I'm back home. Earning anything is a big deal. I'm just like... Uh, it's probably like a temporary opportunity as well and I had to start very early on and show my passion and all that shit you know it's it's almost like adventure craft vibe but it's more like being able to actually slowly climb my way up to something that looks like minecraft but yet again I had too many like itches like it, it didn't felt like minecraft either it felt more of a, a, a tedious adventure. We had to do too many things to to craft one thing, like a fucking knife. You have to actually carve out the stone. Like, who does that shit? Carve out? No. No, I'm out. You're carving out your flint? And then, like, you're fucking... We're going back to medieval times now. No, I want a knife. I fucking get a knife. Right, I, I pick up a rock and I combine it with a stick. I get a knife. Please, don't don't make it too tedious. But that's what this guy did, and I'm like, and I, it's it's really hard to trust. My story is like filled with stuff that I try to do and try and unsuccessfully. You had a bunch of jobs in between, and uh, my life was constantly changing. There, there's not enough help help at all that there, there was never a person next to me like helping out or just having this a similar journey so you can't fucking blame me for having all these colors and not being able to fucking function properly this entire time this entire like this a four-year period this five year period let's put it that way five and now they're two additional years I would say so the seven years of period I couldn't function properly well I'm sorry but uh, it's it's filled up with garbage uh, I don't think you have heard anything successful happening here you know just because like oh I, I really liked adventure I mean no 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 Antoine I'm discord and that's where I found him, by the way. I found him in Antwinum's Discord, uh, promoting that he's also programming something, and he was actually more advanced than I. Uh, I was, and I wanted to promote myself too. So it's very unlikely to happen. I'm still happy he gave me a free game. He fucking he was nice, okay, fucking nice person, yeah. 
sure. And he has a bigger community than we do. But that's it's not a big deal for me. Not a big deal at all, actually. I'm more concerned about uh, that I don't like it. You know, I'm not a part of his community, so we don't have to worry about Vintage Story. Uh, I'm just saying. But, you know, that if you, you might be able to infiltrate this shit and figure out for yourself if it's worth the effort. I got all the files and I, I yeah, it, it slipped through my fingers. I'm sorry, so it's still in my laptop. My laptop is now broken. So at some point in my history as well. Okay. Uh, another laptop breaks. Okay. Uh, so here's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what happens. XL motherfucker happens. How does it break? It didn't quite break. It's, it's the charger that broke. And actually caused a lot of trouble as well. Even though this is a seven year period, these, these things fucking last a long time. So fucking charger breaks. And uh, I can't get one anymore. I I bought a very exclusive laptop that needs a lot of uh, voltage, let's put it that way, to be maintained. And uh, I wasted a lot of money on this shit already. Uh, so, yeah, in the end, it's always the, the question of, like, money and then... Who has it, basically? Who has the thing that I want to buy? So that's that's the only question, usually, when it comes to looking for a platform. But sometimes you can just put in the work and fill up the gap all by yourself. You don't need to buy anything. You just put in the work. So that's what I'm trying to do. Very simply. Okay, I don't care. Now straightforward right i don't care if you're a fan of adventure craft or you've never heard about adventure craft at all because i don't need adventure i'm not supposed to need adventure craft i'm supposed to leave it behind and do something that will allow you to just download my game and play it and there's no problems all right there's no questions no problems that's what i want to happen that would be fucking amazing by the way Okay, you just download it, play. Easy. We finally made it. One, one fucking time, it fi finally fucking worked. For me, personally. Because for me to make a game, I have big demands for myself. I need good shit. And uh, I need a platform. I can't just... Oh! Oh, I picked up some random platform and it works. And I'm, now I'm just growing. That's, that doesn't happen, first of all. I don't know how to use Unity as well. Uh, for me, it's a, it's quite a mystery. I, I almost now don't care as much about programming as well. So there's... Uh, while this story happened, just... I don't know. It drained me so badly, and I'm like... Now... I'm, I still don't know what my parents are supposed to be for me. Uh, or now am I supposed to take care of them all of a sudden? You know, okay, you're out of 18 years. But after 7 years, now you'll have to take care of your parents. Whoa, that's, that's next level, dude. And guess what? I probably could take care of my parents quite well. If they just allow me, if they just give me a job, just like that, you know, just give me a fucking job to take care of you. Is, is it that too much to offer? Too much to ask for? Because, like, my mom, but yeah, my mom just sits here and she doesn't do anything, right? That's the biggest problem. And she gets free money that I could use too. We could both use and we would both be happy. Uh, but instead she desi desires to buy expensive food. Uh, 
I, I can't say like rich type of expensive food. I'm just saying not something we can afford. Okay, we can go cheaper and we're still going to be happy. We're still going to be pleased. But the problem is, you know, for her, there's no other entertainment but buying food. Buying certain types of food that's not exactly food, it's just candy. Okay? And uh, that's, that's unaffordable. If that's not food, that's just pleasure. That's just like buying a fucking game. You know? In a case where you uh, choose between uh, candy and a game. I love gamers. Okay. If you ask me whether I... Uh, I understand my mom or I understand gamers better. I don't understand my mom at all <laughs> Buy candy that's your lifestyle for for your entirety of your life and What's even worse whenever there is a little bit of stress about this subject? She goes insane She stresses herself out out of control. She just can't handle anything real anymore and uh as I've said in my previous videos, police gets called immediately as her first option of choice. Whenever anything goes wrong, police is called immediately. She can't handle life. Can't handle life. Why am I alive anymore? What the fuck is wrong with me as well? You know, why do I exist? Why do I have to ask this question? You know, why my mom is fucking garbage? But that's not it, you know, obviously, everyone is garbage. Everyone who doesn't see it for what this truly is. And I had to sit here for hours and figure it out. But someone else with experience should be able to figure this out, right? But that's the whole point. In the end, money is a scam and... Uh, Truly needed jobs don't exist. I'm sorry about that. There has to be a job that helps me look for a job, for example. You know, very, very valuable job too, by the way. That motivates me, helps me contact people, knows what to fucking to do in any situation when you are jobless. A person like that should exist. Not just like, oh, government should exist and they should give you money while you're jobless, but you're still looking for a job, so you should take a government money. Is that the solution? What the fuck is this solution at all? Because I, I tried this solution as well. You know, try to look for a job. How fun is that? How really fun is that? There's not enough help in that section. You know, just some fucking person sits there offers you things and it doesn't work out and you just keep circling around and walking around into nowhere and uh, what the other person is actually hoping is to bust your fucking nuts so you don't get that money they're just hoping for it they have to provide it to you but they're hoping that they will bust you you will make a mistake and they can kick you out the hoping for kicking you out is actually greater than wanting to give a person a job. How does that make any sense? It doesn't, because we don't have jobs. We have something else happening right now. I don't know what it is. But my rant is more of a job than what it people fucking doing right now, these days. I don't know what the fuck. So uh, here you go. Uh, first hour plus 30 minutes completed. We're gonna come back to the same issue. And it's very simple, right? Now that another person comes in and pokes holes 
and it's like, oh, what are you doing, buddy? What's the problem? I want to help you. I wish things were better for you. Because like, blah, 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 blah. I was your friend. We played games together. I have no offense, okay, for what I said. But I don't trust anyone anymore. They have to know this shit first. To be able to get up to speed. Get on my level, right? Uh, I can't trust them. I can only trust myself and what I want to do. And that shit is difficult. That shit, you know, it's uh, it's a, it's going to a forest and trying to uh, shoot down some beasts that live in those forests. And I'm going to come back home and I'm going to praise myself for doing it. I'm still back in fucking medieval times. I don't know if I'm going to survive. But uh, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. My life constantly changes and it's almost like now my life is that second platform below and I never thought that fucking thing is gonna go down. But let's explore that too. Fuck yeah, those seven years yet again from a perspective of my life. So we align everything, right? Uh, this is where I... I move out to UK. It's kind of the first year. Uh, the second year, my laptop gets destroyed. I buy a new one. Okay, so I need to, to make one task. It's very difficult. I earn about, let's say, 2K in total fucking revenue. And I spend it all in a way mostly on rent mostly it gets stolen by rent the next stage I still have money left over now it's being stolen by rent and I'm jobless all of a sudden just because something malfunctioned with the phone and I didn't know what to do like I should be prepared for this shit uh, one thing obviously wrong about this uh, is probably I left wrong number because there's always an emergency number that your, your workplace has so somehow that didn't work either so all just all of a sudden it's just so stupid so third year shows up okay I do I'm doing this freelance thing as I've said, I've started to recognize now fully because the freelance actually showed up the first year too. And I, uh, I open up in Unity how to make apps basically. I figure it out. So it's a little bit linked, but not exactly. But I get this experience where I'm making a rhythm game okay for someone and I'm doing a good job and I'm being you know uh, at least I have a contact and like as long as I hold on to the contact it feels pretty good and the girl actually you know means well uh, and I was able to even contact her later on uh, which you know it's just so nice to just have contacts like that it's just so fucking nice but uh, people just don't know how to communicate properly. People don't know what they actually ask asking for. Uh, this freelance stuff is just a shit show. It's like fucking Tinder. It's ridiculous. And you're looking for other programming jobs? Are you insane? I don't know. I don't know what the opportunities are that out there and the world gets more and more complicated as we go along with this shit you know this it's not gonna get easier if things get automated things get more complicated as long as we have the same problems and the same perspectives of how we solve them like that's crazy the third year comes along so I get a new job that doesn't suck for four and fifth year 
I get a fucking revenue of like 7k. I have plus five plus like 3k. I spend 1k on uh, on a new PC. And uh, my dad takes away one and a half k. And turns out he spends it on a scam. And it's the most heartbreaking thing that ever happened. That I can't fucking recover from. But apparently, when I came back home, uh, somewhere here, so I spent four years in UK. Okay, so I had a good job for like one and a half years or something. Then I have shitty jobs. So this 7K is somewhere around here. Then I have shitty jobs. I also moved out and I lost even more money when I move out. Just simply from moving. You move, you pay this fucking uh, pre-rent basically, which is called the deposit. Two month deposit, I think. Some, some ridiculous cost. And an additional cost because uh, I didn't warn them basically. So additional some rent cost. There's just some weird shit. The they shouldn't fucking bother me with that stuff, but like whatever. It was it didn't look too too big of a deal, but like now looking back, everything looks big of a deal. Okay. If you're renting, you gotta rent small fucking room with someone and all you're doing there in uk is earning money and trying to escape as fast as possible that's the only fucking strategy there's no other strategy in the book that i see i should have just when my dad was in there there was no laptop bullshit okay i'm not pissing off my dad i'm working this whole fucking time let's say two fucking years I earn my 3k, I bail, a fucking bail. I can get, you know, some new laptop, maybe. But even that's not it, okay? I go back here and I have my fucking home station. But right now, because I didn't know what the perfect fucking solution to this problem is, now just I, I picked up the problem of my life. I'm in still in problem, within problems, I'm like so fucking depressed. I don't want to do this anymore, okay? I don't want to repeat this fucking process, okay? I failed the first time over. My life was scammed to a brim, basically. I didn't know how to do this exactly and properly, you know? This this turns into a scam. My life is a scam. Am I a scammer now? Am I automatically a fucking scammer, an untrustworthy person? Because like, holy shit, you know? But that's the question. How do people allow this to happen in, in the first place? How do I fucking lose all this money? How do I not know to go back to where there is no rent for me to pay? I am not paying for slavers all over the place, you know? And I don't feel like at war, at war with reality. So, uh, but here you go. It's all a fucking scam. I lost five years of my life, in a way. You can say that to me. So I'm I'm back out, and I still got scammed. I still got robbed. I still got outside of UK, and fucking I still got robbed. Just the same amount. Just after a lot of work put in, I still got robbed just the same amount. And I could have fucking just bought a fucking engine right now and just bailed. Okay, we wouldn't talk about this at all. We would talk about ray tracing or adventure craft problems. I was just, I bought an engine and, I, and I'm using an engine. And we're not fucking, uh, fucking around anymore. But technically, uh, now, there is no option. There is no try hard option, basically. There is only my option. What I am capable of doing and how I'm going to do it my way.
okay and in addition to that i'm adding my spice okay to the channel of where the channel is gonna go which is even weirder than that i'm gonna try and make music <laughs> who thought who thought that's gonna happen right just i don't give a fuck anymore because like if if this can happen what is still gonna happen in my life have I figured everything out? Pretty much. It makes me feel better now. That I, I know how to handle things. Uh, it's, it's still very painful to look back like, yeah, if I, if I just send, send myself back in time and I have to refeel the same pain, I wouldn't want to do it anymore. I'm like, I'm, no, nah, thank you. No, thanks. And it's just the most painful thing. Like, how do I lose my jobs? Like, it's so stupid the way it all happens. Uh, but even worse, when it, it started degrading and the last job was like super cool and I lost it anyways because I did something stupid. Just, I, I was going out of my mind at this point. I just wanted to leave UK at this point and I did something stupid. And now is enough to like break it all. Uh, and again, th that's that's what happens, you know. Like you do something wrong, you don't have an option to pay for it. You only have option to be fired, which does happen. And that's it. You don't have an option to explain yourself or anything, because all all they want to hear is like, so what kind of mistakes you did. And uh, will it make me fire you, basically? Because I kind of want to fire you. It's just, just make me fire you, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Very cool. That's what happens with every relationship as well. It's like... A, you, people actually want to break up with you more than they want to have a relationship with you. Which is just as fucking amazing actually it's so amazing it's just ridiculous people are so uh filled up with uh, all these emotions that other people give they want to break up relationships instead of building r new relationships it's it's quite obvious for me but uh it just creates this stupid dynamic at the same time, I think this is the core dynamic that's happening, right? The need to break things up, the idea that people are just bad inherently, and all you have to do is try and detect a bad thing happening, and then you're out. kind of weird honestly I'm just weird out like this so but though e even weirder it's like it's not exactly true right we we're supposed to build new relationships it's just the the, diffi the difficulty happens right we build something so we can break it up somehow or we get stuck accidentally who knows this entire thing is uh, I don't know what this means uh, it's just a huge huge concern and I'll try and figure out it so now I'm in a completely new territory and my life sucks again I came back home and my mom just lives her own life all of a sudden I don't exist in a way I have nobody to go back to. I have no home for myself, technically, unless I have a job. So, but once I do have a job, that's it. That's game over right there. Now, I'm a big guy if I have a job. But at the same time, I like, 
what's the point of having a job? The only thing I care about right now, I open up some daily runescape, I get some gold, and I bail. Whatever. Just, just easy money. And I've said, uh, I've shown, like, I can probably earn, well, 300 uh, mil in a month. It sounds pretty fucking horrible. $20? Can you live in a month? $20? Kind of. Okay, the answer is kind of. And uh, I would get more and more mills each month, depending on how, how much I uh, learn how to deal, how to make those fucking deals. If I make a new account, for example, but I obviously need to spend more time as well each time. It's not a solution at all. It's not a fucking job at all. It's supposed to be sad. It's supposed to sound sad and depressing. It's like, well, if you just make enough clickbait YouTube videos, you probably earn fucking thirty dollars easily. Like, what are you talking about? Just do some stupid editing shit or something. But there is no easy fucking solution because most work demands sacrifice, demands you to become a half of a robot and do something for a long period of time just to be able to fucking reach out for a profit. What the fuck does that mean? You know, I don't understand what money means. It's a hard thing to get. And I don't think it's not a scam. I definitely think it's a scam. I definitely think that basic income is just a human necessity right now. Like, people have to get basic income. Nothing bad is going to happen, I swear. But, uh, and the coronavirus is pretty much uh, an example of, like, people wanting to break relationships. Oh, that... I didn't thought that's going to happen, but it did. Coronavirus says hi. It's so self-explanatory that it just out of my mind right now. Like this is a fucking movie. I I just want to sit and watch YouTube videos and not do anything else. Please understand me. This is ridiculous. What's happening right now? I'm too smart to uh, not be in a pool of pleasure and ecstasy right now even though I don't have money. But money has nothing to do with anything right now. Even if I had money, I would do exactly the same thing, which is sit here and do nothing. Because this is ridiculous. I Life is right now ridiculous. Life is doing something ridiculously stupid because everyone broke up and everyone is butt hurt. I mean, I, I want to do something completely different than just programming games because programming games actually feeds into the same bullshit that, you know, world is, actually. Yes, I can improve on the experience that you have and you might survive your sanity and you might fucking need me, but please, uh, you have to say three, three words, I think. Fuck me daddy, basically. That's, that's what you have to say. And pretty much, that's kind of what I hear right now. Is that what you say? Fuck me daddy? Is that that's what you're saying right now? What is this, by the way? Huh. Interesting. Interesting vector art, by the way. I'm, I'm digging it to some degree. You know, I love math art simply because that's how rendering supposed to fucking work. It's supposed to be out of math, not out of polygons necessarily. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what Spawn Engine is offering to me. I'm just kind of surprised that, you know, nobody can dig through the wall that I, I'm sitting behind. I'm like, huh, you will never figure out what ray tracing is. Never. Never, boys, until I show you. Then you'll see. I can't just... I, I don't just say smart things. I can do smart things, and it's not a big deal. So finally, 
after seven years of struggling if I do this and it's happening and I finally put my last farts of effort okay we'll, we'll celebrate something pretty decent here okay if I have the the platform finally ready I'm still struggling I'm still kind of unhappy here so if RuneScape can be this $20 escape for me fuck yeah dude uh, if you say, oh, I can fart out $20 for you, no big deal. Well, cool. <laughs> that's, that's good to hear. Uh, I'll prepare my PayPal at some point. I don't know. I can't wait. I should probably prepare my PayPal right now. I still will not prepare it for donations or anything. But, uh... If you can donate, the only thing I want to know is like, oh, I can donate. I don't want to hear, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I would rather take your time than your money, basically, is what I'm saying. There is no quick solution. Everything is a fucking scam, so you literally would be feeding into my life, which is a pure scam, by the way. I'm, I'm purely in a deadlight. You will not get what you want from me, basically. Don't expect me to give you what you want, because this is not happening. My life is so fucking weird, okay? Uh, I can only observe back and like, whoa, all of it was a scam. <laughs> I wasted everything. So, um, don't send me money. I certainly am a wonderful bank. I'm a smart person. I can save your money if you want to. But it's just like buying gold. Would you really buy gold or you just have money? Like, let's just let's just not create more problems than there are already is. Okay, even if society dies, like, is money really that fucking terrible? Kind of. Okay, if you don't know how to have relationships, if you can't recognize, oh, this is a rich person coming and his money is worth a little bit less, because he's gonna try and buy everything from me. No, all you're trying to do is be reasonable with people. So, if, you know, you, you have a shop, right? And Mr. Beast comes in, you say no. Mr. Beast is not invited into your shop to buy everything, you know? He's trying to buy everything and that might, you know, be a critical decision to make to say no to Mr. Beast. It's quite a fucking interesting story, actually. Mr. Beast is a dangerous fool, okay? He has no blame. He cannot be blamed for anything. I'm just saying he's dangerous. So if you get into trouble because of Mr. Beast, if you sell all the food and then all the hungry people are like, well, I guess we're going to kill you now. <laughs> it's your problem. There's nothing I can do about it. This is simple fucking politics that you should know. Don't sell everything to Mr. Beast. That's it. And whoever Mr. Beast happens to be doesn't fucking matter. I'm just saying it's a rich, it's an idea of rich person that's out there that's super popular right now and it's actually problematic if you don't learn this because I think, you know, essentially this, uh, this is very important. Like if, imagine, your local shop gets completely drained out. Your local fucking shop drained out. Okay, at least I have the other shop, right? Uh, but uh, this is where just one person can bankrupt something or some stupid shit can happen. Obviously, it's not going to be bankrupt. You bought everything. So, like, the system actually has a way to stabilize itself. And I shouldn't completely freak out but he just bought it it's just gonna be re-imported three days later or something and everyone's happy i hope because buying things not supposed to do any harm in capitalism and yeah that's that's pretty good i'll take that i'll take that but if any kind of crisis happens and everyone is buying up food and whatever 
that's when things go very bad. In crisis. Okay, in crisis, Mr. Beast is not invited. That's all I'm saying. In crisis, you don't know what's happening. So you want people to take their fair share of pre preparation goods. Maybe, you know, something is going to go down. Maybe people are going to lose jobs or something. So it's all split up, and Mr. Beast can only take this piece. That belongs to everyone else. And everyone else have to forget about just overly buying things or just being fucking fat in any capacity whatsoever anyway so that's that's that that's the dirty part but yeah so uh once i'm happy with this uh and i'll still attempt like maybe tomorrow i'll attempt to see if the engine can work yet again if it can generate me some moving objects will celebrate that's it that's all I need is just gonna be a slow steady rise of how the engine works and of course people are like upset like oh no it's still gonna be super slow and it's gonna take forever to build an engine and you know like wh what about gravity or something no physics pre-built in unity that's no no problem there uh, first person phys you, you, all, all of there's all of kinds of assets already in unity there's nothing to really ask for okay then a and then you look you look up who built minecraft in unity they can build it in like a week a fucking day sometimes like what building minecraft in unity is total garbage as well of a job I still would want to do it right, I w would spend like months, okay, I wouldn't just spend a week, I want to do things properly, but in general, I don't even need Minecraft, I don't even need to recreate Minecraft, I think Minecraft is kind of garbage and boring, and I wouldn't want to have the same thing exactly, you know, to generate a big worlds that you explore like for no good reason. You know how Spawn the Creeper's Forge works, and I only need a few areas, and that's fine. And still, just by making a few areas appear, I can just copy and paste those areas and generate huge chunks anyways. It's like, well, I, I, I guess I can do that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you, you kind of want to rather create a game that's linear not not a map that just you explore whatever because uh, yeah if you want to explore that's that's what you do but there are clear boundaries of exploration there's no need for like uh, the, the, the boring parts you know the boring parts not supposed to exist we're like oh at some point the game is boring right here you know, so I really want to like see see how boring it can get, right? Like that is just uh, a simple game design where it stops people from doing boring, stupid shit. I know people sometimes feel entertained by doing that. It's almost like me making rant videos. Someone has to stop me. <laughs> that's good game design, right there. But that's. That's a proof that there are no good game designers. It's fucking amazing, isn't it? The fact that I am making rant videos proves that there are no good game devs. So just to repeat this statement, I make rant videos because people should have stopped me from making rant videos. People should have said, hey, you should do this instead and it's much more effective. And you won't hurt yourself doing this because nobody's watching you anyways. You know, like uh, someone would take my self scam because it's still a scam making rent videos 
still potentially a scam just to me because who knows what I'm trying to achieve right in life and wh what life is supposed to give to me so someone else has to step in and say okay this is this is this whole thing as a scam take this right this is a approved version of life cool but that's that's why minecraft fails basically it gives you all this area to scam around to scam yourself and then it becomes a struggle of like okay how do i escape a scam you know like Oh, at first it's like interesting, but then you fuck your mind starts melting. You turn into a fucking demon. You turn to Antwenom, who's like observing the edges of the universe of Minecraft. Like, what are you fuck are you doing? Just play Minecraft or not play Minecraft. It's a simple choice. But if you're exploring the edge of the universe, you're not playing Minecraft while you're still in Minecraft. What is wrong with you? It's like, well, I still want to belong as a, as a regular Minecrafter. The 2B2T thing is like, it pisses me off even more. Because it's the same man madness reimagined in a different format. And that's the only thing that I'm observing. Obviously, there's plenty of Minecraft servers. There's plenty of madness to be had. And uh, I don't give a fuck about that, okay? As a game designer... <laughs> Now I'm like, I'm a little bit scared. I don't want to scam people. So we're just going to go linearly. And if you want to explore something, go right ahead. That's the fun of the game. Exploration. Yes. Check mark. And there's going to be vi various roll dices that you can roll. And press that scam button. Madness button. Anytime you want. Just re-roll re the dice. Okay, just like in Hearthstone, you want to get yourself scammed, you want to hit, get some highlights of the game. Yeah, you can press one button, but uh, the allowance... For example, like, people are have been crafting automated systems in Minecraft that would walk towards the edge of the fucking Minecraft. But why? Why are you doing this? Why are you spending your time and effort and money and ev all these resources just to go to the edge of Minecraft? Why? How the fuck, man, are people coming up with these ideas? And yes, they think after they create the system, it's going to be reused in some different ways because it's AI, it's smart, right? The singularity thing, oh my god, Elon Musk is shitting his pants, so AI must be amazing. And I believe AI is going to be just as a big of a disappointment as my five years of life has been. You know, AI is not going to be interesting. And that's where it dies. Is it interesting or not? No. As long as AI is interesting and compelling, you know, wow, it can play chess perfectly. It can play these games perfectly. It can learn? Really? That's cool. But at some point, I think AI is just unaffordable and stupid. Uh, if, unless AI knows how to make a game for me, then I'm like, oh, I guess, I guess I don't have to be a game developer anymore as well. <laughs> That's the only thing I ask right now. Okay, okay, AI, if you're truly fucking super ultimate smart, just make games for me. What's the point anyways? What am I even trying to do? And it will figure out for itself that, oh, I, I like RPG elements and I like skill. It will figure out what I like, how I like to play stuff. I don't know. So essentially, f screw this. Let AI make everything. Okay. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Let's just play some AI games. Let's AI be the developer. If that's... If that's where we're going, again, if people spend too much time praising AI, it can do that, by the way. You bet it can make games, okay? It just, it throws you random things to play with until it figures out what exactly you like playing with, and then it realizes, oh, you like playing with Lego, so I'm gonna give you Minecraft thingy, you know? Slowly it would figure out, but it's just... 
Are you sure you have time to ensure that AI is flawless and has no mistakes in the code? Is any small mistake and all of a sudden... <laughs> Um, it doesn't happen quite yet, right? We we don't hear those fucking stories where AI just flat out shit shits itself and nobody knows how to bring it back up to life. But I just I just kind of have a feeling it's gonna happen <laughs> that AI can just appear. But again, fuck, who 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 would go back in time twenty years and say you're gonna hold in your hand? A device that can pretty much show you anything and anywhere in the world basically and uh, what what are you talking about a television this I, I can understand that but you can hold television in your hand what are you talking about 20 years ago so potentially AI can be something similar to that uh, where like Oh, so this 3D print? No. What is it? What is AI? And I'll be able to hold it in my hand? Oh, it's gonna make me games. How the, how the fuck does that work? No. <laughs> Sometimes uh, when we get one thing, we expect to get the, the other thing. And that other thing never happens. You know, sequels are garbage. So the sequel to TV turning into a handheld device is not gonna turn into AI being a hell hand device. I don't think that I don't think this sequel is fucking working out for us very well. I'm just saying. But that's a very interesting topic to think about. And uh we'll see. So, uh, second hour complete. What was the point that I'm making with AI? AI should be making games for me, but I don't think that's how games work. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? I think games have a much much better way existing where developers actually develop games because they know what they want from it uh, it's it's kind of you know now now we're talking about existential crisis of a programmer because if ai can make games you know ai can figure out like okay pick up something like gta 5 and just keep throwing features right whatever features work Whatever mods work, they will stick around. You're playing Skyrim, a bunch of mods uh, are being reshuffled, and you replaying, and the AI is checking. Did you liked it or didn't like it? What's up? You just trade it. And all of a sudden, actually, we're going back one step backwards to the point where AI is pretty much asking, do you like this girl or do you like this girl? Or do you like to make this program into Facebook that will control the world? So there are three choices, basically. Stupid. Come on, Zuckerberg. Do, it just asks you which girl you like. Why did it turn into Facebook? What the fuck? But that's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of how games work, I think. You don't know when your small little thing that you're trying to invent is going to turn into a big thing because it's progressive, always based on how good your idea is so now this competition idea competition idea which is you know widely spread is like what is your top 10 games how do you figure that out by the way how do you do that uh, so when you compare two things together you get something out of it and to me it's still not I'm still not sure what I get out of it so I don't actually approach it the same way as Mark Zuckerberg does it, I approach my comparison uh, algorithm, let's put it this way, it's like, well, if I spend time on something, I made the decision to like something, I am liking it right now, and I just have to capture how long that is happening, and that's the result. And uh, right now, this, 
the results are quite mixed. But if I reset the system back to zero, which potentially I will, okay, I probably should, to be honest, just reset the system completely fresh and start YouTube mining from the very, very, very beginning from scratch. <laughs> it would be quite uh, a disaster in a way, I would say, because right now we, by creating something that already exists i can still use it as data of some kind right so i still have to dynamically figure out what all of these numbers mean to me right do i like these numbers you know i'm i can still spend and like these numbers somehow uh so uh think about it this way facebook is a simple one one-on-one -on -one comparison idea I am more of a like engine guy okay so if I see someone that I truly like I spend time and I see how much time I can spend with them you know and uh, I, I just list everyone. I, I don't just go one on one and who's gonna fucking battle it out. Fucking boxing ring. Just ancient technology this shit is. And for this to be like the idea that blew up somehow, um, congratulations. Because that's what it takes. It takes something to blow up, an idea to blow up, and all of a sudden you're building something, you know? You just need a little bit of attention and all of a sudden y you stop, con you can't control yourself anymore. You want to control people around you who are observing you, who whose lives you're invading. It's just such a fucking weird life all of a sudden in that sense. And you can't really invade their lives without uh, making sure that they like you as well. So that's also important. They have to be a fans of you. They have to like you. What you doing? So uh, I'm more of a like engine guy. So uh, I make sure that I'm influential. I do things perfectly. And my idea that's going to spark a big project of any kind. If I fail, I fail. Whatever, right? <laughs> but I, I have to make sure that this idea is pretty fucking good. Just like Minecraft very simple idea as well, right? Just a bunch of blocks. Destructible blocks. Craftable blocks. Wow. That's it. That's where it ends. Simple idea. And it just grows a little bit to some degree. People figure out different ways to use it. Congratulations. It takes time to figure out how to use it. That's why Minecraft has a long long longevity like everything else has. But... Uh, The idea itself is super simple, and it has to be that way. And uh, I also made sure that my idea is super simple, that I'm inspired by something very pleasant, I would say. And it's kind of around, I would say, as well. It's kind of around the roguelike genre, for example. It's around. You reset. The, the games are replayable all of a sudden. The, the thing that I complain about in the how much should I hate Minecraft video... That thing is being solved, at least in the uh, mobile market. The games should be replayable. It just ma makes all the sense. But it doesn't make enough sense to where like the, those games are free as well. I'm like, why are they not completely free? Like, microtransactions, good. Make it slow and grindy, good. But why there are paywalls? I don't understand that part. <laughs> What's wrong with your game? You know? Do you... Do you, no, it's just like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with your game? Don't you really, don't you want like a vibrant community to work out? Don't, don't you want people to play it for a long time? Because that's what truly matters, okay? Make a free grindy game to succeed. That's all you need to do. 
So most people fail something. They fail something. I just try not to fail something. But at the same time, I'm not trying to make a game anymore in a way. Who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll make sure that the engine actually exists. And then I'll cross this path and do everything right. Everything how it's supposed to be done. Perfect. And shut the fuck up, AI. We don't need you. We just need a normal uh, bounded game with a few buttons that make it spicy. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. That's it. I just have to recreate something like Hearthstone but more like Minecraft. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's weird. Now, how about just one peek into Terraria, for example, where the game is a little bit more complicated. Because it's 2D, it allows itself to have more intricate ideas, like having more weapons or something. Did that really worked out well? I don't think so. I think it's much more interesting to have your items slowly upgrade. Just the same way that you collect experience or something. Almost like if you collect enough mining experience, you can get a weapon upgrade. And it just upgrades automatically. You don't even need to worry about what resources you're gathering. The game itself should be simple. As you can see and execute it as simply as possible there's no tedious task of like uh, you constantly need to google something or watch tutorials no you know how the progression works you get introduced immediately it's almost like take borderlands for example you pick up a new weapon you see the price is higher it's probably a better weapon you use it it's like what's the big deal Borderlands figured it out and we weapons are all over the place. So technically all you're looking for is just a more expensive weapon. In a way that's a shitty progression system. It almost looks like capitalism there. Because like you gather experience and that's what's supposed to give you better weapons in a way. Based on which weapon you like the most. And there's still, you know, more, more unique options keep floating around. It's almost like an AI built weapon system. Now that, uh, uh, okay, okay, I like that. Okay, bor border, I won't say borderlands, I just say border four. Please give me AI system that gives me weapons based on which weapons I like the most. Okay, fuck yeah, whatever. Let's take it. Give me that. Of course, that's never gonna happen. Every, everything I talk about ne never fucking happens. All you have to do is just sit back and like enjoy whatever there is. I don't even know why I have fans. I think uh, entire life system has failed because I have fans in the first place. Even fucking six fans. What happened to you guys? How did you get here? There's so many games to choose from, so much to play. What is your story? Because you have to now have a fucking life story to be able to fucking join my discord in the way you know that's how i feel why do i have fans did i did i do some fucking huge life achievement or something that i obstructed your life purpose and instead i gave you my life purpose you just figure out that it's amazing i don't know what happened guys so uh it's really confusing it's Especially if nobody just comes in and like, okay, this is my story, <laughs> you know. They don't say they they own. They don't have three hour rant video to explain to me what happened. And otherwise, that's that's how I understand things. You make a rant video. You 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 tell me. I don't want to make rant videos because other people are supposed to do it. Right? How about that? It's like I'm doing your job for you right now. I'm. A, I'm explaining every possible story there is through my frustration and their, the absence of the story. If, if there would be stories, I would just be quiet and listen and then point out finger at those people who are telling stories. Well, that's interesting. That's what impact I had in their life and that makes sense that they're still hanging around. Otherwise, I still feel like you're a fucking failure for not 
playing better games or inviting me to play better games or something. You know, just there's so much to discover in the world of gaming. Every one of us should unite and just try and discover things instead of, you know, hoping that I make something happen. Because all, because there's all there's plenty of working people right now who are actually getting paid for this. So I shouldn't struggle right now. You know what I'm talking about? Like, why am I struggling at all? It's just so fucking weird. And obviously, like, wow, if you succeed, you won't have to struggle because people will pay for this shit. Big bucks, and you might become a fucking millionaire. And like, like not, you will throw parties <laughs> and have a big house. Wow, is that... That's a very manipulative thing to say, by the way, that... Oh, it's definitely going to happen, right? That's kind of a manipulative uh, I think I would also play into accidentally this game of like, I want to break up more than I want to build something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's almost like Notch style. Oh, I, I kind of want to break up with Minecraft more than build it. So let's just throw it into trash. But of course, that's that's what happens usually. You want to break up once it's like out of control, stupid, big. You want to escape, uh, but why? It still makes no sense, right? I almost like explored this before. I remember drawing a map, like, oh yeah. That's that's what Nodge did, and I shouldn't do the same thing, same mistake. It's. This is so dumb. This is so dumb that I have to sit through this. Uh, we'll see. So I'll, I'll leave it here. If I have more points. See, I, I, I kind of I kind of see the missing piece. I kind of feel it. Right now, I'm just very tired. Where are you running? Oh, yeah. I got... I thought I had the answer to that. I don't even know the question anymore. And there's might there might be something I can do. Yeah, this this is just pointing out a concern. The story speaks for itself all the time. It's almost I don't need locks. Locks just make me uh, less aware of what I'm trying to solve here. And now now I'm satisfied to some degree. So basically the the conclusion is I started a new thing <laughs> you know this like Facebook thing uh, the like engine I just sit back and just enjoy stuff because I, I recognize this a completely different aspect of life I've never explored before I do feel like a fucking newborn baby but of course I'm faster than that and you know my little little tiny engine is kind of a big deal to some degree. And that's something that I wanted for a long time to do as well. I just didn't know how to do it simply. It's always quite a struggle to figure out what is the simple way to do something. And then you start doing it, of course. You know, that's, that's how programming works. You can't force programming. You have to sit and pretty much meditate for hours until you find the right solution that you want to implement and then you come back to meditating there's no yeah, there's the the sit down and force yourself to work situation does not happen in programming okay but you do have but it's it yeah it's actually okay so you cannot force yourself to sit down but you can force yourself to work okay so sitting down uh, to com to a computer, uh, that's not your work. That's not the entirety of your work. Your work is also to meditate, basically. Okay. So the way it works, while you meditate, you write code. And you reorganize, you fix bugs, basically. You know exactly what you want. And then... Uh, then you sit down so you plan out you plan out what you want to do and how you're gonna do it and then you sit down and fucking do it that's work 
That is work of a programmer. And this can get discounted somehow, uh, or just people not aware of how this works. And uh, maybe not even aware that sometimes we replace this with talking to people, with socializing, but in reality, we're actually writing code. So right now when I'm talking to you, potentially this is just me writing code. <laughs> Who knows, right? Uh, I'm just saying, we don't socialize. And that's the another scam part of life, I think. A lot of people mix work with socializing. Uh, makes little sense, by the way. Okay, so I actually, instead of working, I'm socializing here, okay? So it kind of like slows down my work, but I still need to work. I'm still being told by the higher forces of reality. You gotta work, 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 please, you know, and it, this becomes a scam all of a sudden because you don't want to just work what the fuck does that mean you don't want to just do that you want to be productive sure but you don't just want to work right how the fuck does that make sense but yeah because you have a routine you wake up every day you work and you go to sleep and that's it and whatever you replace as your activity is gonna be still work and it's gonna be quite similar to what you should should be working and how you should be working but not quite so this is also quite a mystery here <laughs> what the fuck is, what the fuck is that oh man I'll take a break now I'm super tired already but you get there's there's a concern here let's put it this way right when in adventure craft i met with code but while coding i met real life okay and that, that real life shit is like just no you would rather just play real life and make sure that everything is easy and smooth and simple and you don't just sit around in weird fucking motivating weird people who just gave you things because right now I, I feel uncomfortable yes you introduce yourself as a spawn lover and that's bad that is fucking bullshit, right? That is an addict already, right? You can still fix yourself, but you shouldn't be like, oh, I'm a fan. That's disqualified immediately. That's a mistake. Why is this a mistake? Okay, so you would be motivating something without knowing whether it's motivatable, okay, Where, whether it's debatable, or you shouldn't say anything about it at all. And it's a big deal because, you know, it almost gives me fucking nightmares. Because all I've said, I have to repeat it again, let people live an easy life. But even that's a fucking trick, right? How the fuck do you approach women? In order to approach women, you actually ruin their life. You steal their life. So they fucking pay attention to you. Holy shit, they're incredibly disrespectful. Women are ridiculously disrespectful. They pretend to be respectful. This is why I said, okay, women give you some respect, but then they clean the fucking table. That's how disrespectful they truly are. And I figured it out, okay? They just... They want to have an incredibly easy life. Incredibly. 
just effortless. They don't want to put in effort in anything. That's why there are no there are no women programmers technically in a way. You will never heard of hear of that shit. They want it easy. And whatever women programmers there are, they're probably fucking nuts. So we'll see about that. You know, I don't I don't want this statement to be true. But holy shit, there's there's no such thing as women programmers. I'm just saying, it's not easy. Or just not ridiculously easy. It is progressively easy. If you grow into it, you're gonna have it. But women not growing into it. It's just a simple thing. But that's that's the fucking weird thing. Because women grow into some weird shit that makes their lives incredibly easy. Like, for example, that's it. This is it, guys. So please... Next year, you hear me making music, you must know what it is. It's a fuck you to women, basically, music. That's that's what it is, in the end. Women want extremely easy life. Ex- Wow! <laughs> of course, it looks a little bit more complicated right like how do you get extremely easy and lazy life like but they want it <laughs> they're just so ridiculous i would say they just using social manipulation of like oh we're attracted to something that's visible right fucking boobs or something uh, fucking hair just and that visibility got ramped up to maximum at this point wow we can be manipulated now. It's just ridiculous. This concern goes so deep. I meet, I'm meeting real life right now. And I can't explain it anymore. Because I can't just make a game about it. It's real life now. I started decoding. Oh shit. I'm dropping down even lower. While AdventureCraft. I was playing a game. You know. I was building a map. Oops. I dropped into the code realm. The realm of like you can do anything really and in the end i realized i can't do anything at all <laughs> i don't have life anymore but eventually I, I broke through those barriers and i came here tumbling down and people can call it quote unquote downhill progress yeah kind of but you kind of have to go downhill as well motherfucker you need as the same amount of help as i had of just saying that's how you live life you meet it in that fucking end section after breaking through everything that you have accumulated because it's naturally unsuccessful actually and you have to recognize that too and money can actually like tinker with your perception of life because now money is the coding part right you code your life the same goes with money so Money can replace those sections the same way. For me, I used effort instead of money. My life looks unobtainable because I used effort instead of money. And that unobtainable could mean I'm attractive in some ways i created something interesting in some ways but in, in the end potentially all I, I was doing is just meeting real life in the end that's what happens and i can rebuild it back up to where like okay i'm a good coder now i have my own game that i, I play every day and it just works and it just produces things i'm being productive while playing a game yeah i can do that that's not not impossible at all but uh now that's that's a real way to live life where you enjoy it and you're productive that's it you enjoy life and you're productive like there's no better life so again i'm i'm glad nobody's like super crazy about it but some old person who went went a little bit too far asking too many questions and i'm like my patient is like super limited super on edge it puts me on edge 
because uh, just worrying what happened is disrespectful in a way. Okay, like what happened to you instead? Talk talk about yourself. Maybe you're gonna be an interesting person to me. Hopefully you are, so I can respect you more. Yes, because we spend time together. He's probably like super aggressive about it. You know, he's, I want my refund. The fuck is that? The fuck does that mean? It's crazy, right? I want my refund. No, I built my life through effort. And that's what I'm giving him. And he doesn't fucking shut the fuck up. He wants to help me, yeah. Real cool. Thank you for watching this video if you did. Please like and subscribe. That's, that's the fucking weird part. And uh, he's going to be the next level vector, I believe. Because it just progresses that direction. But whatever. We'll adopt him. He's a baby of Discord. Say hi to him as well. Um, anyways. Uh, don't, don't disrespect me. Spawned either will or won't happen, and it's a, a gambling addiction that you have. If you walk either way, you can help me, of course. How are you going to do that? <laughs> How? You have to build a better society or make the weirdest life choice of all time. Come, come here. Okay? Come, come join my life. Huh? Easy, right? Sounds fucking easy. See, after meeting real life, I know nothing happens uh, in a distance, okay? Distance relationships, they don't quite exist, actually. Yes, you can keep in keep in contact with the person, but it's so easy to break up that relationship. It feels like shit, right? It just, but if you're both struggling day to day, every time you wake up, you take care of each other, when the distance is really, really low, that's what kind of builds the great relationship, but you have to make that perfect choice, okay? So keep a distance relationship at first, by all means. That's a good idea. And then decide if you want to come here and fucking spend time with me in my fucking home. How about that? I have a spare room because my mom is always, always mad. And goes back to hospital. So, pff, I guess I have a spare room, no problem. <laughs> and by the way, it's, it's decent living conditions, okay? It's, it's not unbearable. You can, in fact, live. That's amazing, isn't it? So, uh, those are a lot of obstacles in my life. And again, all one more thing you need to know. European countries struggle just a little bit more than American country as a whole. Okay? Let's not mix things up. But struggle means that we do things through effort, not through money. We don't see money as like a solution of all things considering. Uh, even then, even when we have money, we don't necessarily have the edge of the uh, technology to, to buy it, to get there. We can't just spend all of it. You know, like that's not, that's not what's going to happen. We need effort and that's how I lived my life and that's I think very much easy to appreciate uh, might not be easy to subscribe to perhaps a lot of people just walked away unsubscribed but uh, I think most of them appreciated my fucking effort and that's it now you would think like wait but people put effort when they work for money yes 
And that's exactly what it is. It's it's a very trick system. Okay, when when you worship money, when you have to circle around money and profit, you're almost creating your own AI of profit. What's gonna give me most profit? You're creating your own AI. Uh, your your brain is just rewired completely differently your brain is now focusing on, on the money side but when my brain is focused on the effort side I don't quite want to care about money at all I'm almost like circling around s the skill thing as I've said I want to get the skills I also have AI helping me out of what is the most rational things but I can't quite put AI together simply because there's no one quality that I can detect right so all of a sudden it's hard uh, this uh, and this this AI thing by the way this becomes the replacement for effort then it feels like oh I'm, I'm doing just as big of a fucking circle as everyone else, even though I'm just circling fucking dollar signs. Uh, but I have to stretch myself out. I have to clean myself up. You're doing some different things that you didn't invent. I have to invent what I have to do in my life. I have to invent myself and my circle, my cycle of life. It's so different. Uh, so it looks like effort here, right? But it's not. That's the whole point. This is effort. This is effort that generates skill here. This is effort that generates money. So wait, what's the difference, right? Well, okay, so it's different kind of effort, I guess. I guess I shouldn't just say money is an action of some kind or money is some kind of resource. But how the fuck are these resources anyways? Shit. They just fell through a floor again. These are resources? Well, you can call this time. But money is time. Ah, so what is the difference between me and a a general person do, do, do. do I have a conclusion why is why is this system more automated than others because you can buy you you programming your life by the way and what am I doing then <laughs> Okay, this this one is tough. I'll have to think about it. Uh, all I'm saying is like, if you poor, or you live in a poor country, money is not necessarily something you're trying to get. Okay, you're not trying to sell your product here. You would try and move to a place where you can, in fact, sell your product. You're almost trying to be a part of a big company or something. But most of the time, you're selling yourself as a product. You know, that's another thing. So if you can't sell products, you probably can't even sell yourself as a product. This is the difference, right, between Americans and people who just have skill, right? They try and survive, it's almost. But it's, it's a different kind of thing. Uh, yeah, this, this is going to be uh, an interesting explore later on I'll just leave it like this also as a bonus part of the video today is the second day and I need to uh, clear more people I only cleared seven of them which is ridiculous there is 60 to clear so let's see how many we can clear today I'll sit back I'll take I'll relax now. Fuck this shit. I'll tell you guys the number probably won't show you exactly what I'm clearing. 
So I, I open this up instead. Yes, RuneScape Trade has forty dollars of influence now. It's 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 getting there. Oh, in a month I should get three hundred. Obviously, it's is how many mills I make. What is gonna make influence? So every month I should get three hundred. That's a lot, by the way. I don't think most uh, people make that much influence. You can see like this, uh, this is 10 days. Let's track someone like, uh, what is a average person? I think fire would look like an average person, but not much. I don't even know actually. <laughs> I don't even know what looks average. Let's see. Oh man. TikTok. TikTok sounds like an average person. So TikTok after 10 days earned nothing? No, fuck. I have to look even further back. So October 1, 15 days, half of a month. Oh, come on, TikTok. What is wrong with... No. Okay, so I do have to compare it here. Stupid TikTok. So, it barely got 25 in 10 days. RuneScape would get 100 points of influence. What the fuck? Right, four times more than an average. So, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's how it works. And if someone pays me for no fucking reason, just donation, which is now a, an acceptable form of payment, which I don't accept because I don't care. I just don't care. PayPal fucking sucks anyways. I will not drop you a donation link for a long time. Unless you beg me three times and maybe it, it will summon itself. Uh, maybe I will feel embarrassed that you're trying to give me money, but you can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna work and You'll gonna be able to show up on this list potentially. I don't know you want to show up on the list uh, The most influential people I don't know man this guy needed to everything to be explained for him So you can just read the chat. I'm gonna create I'm gonna go back all the way up Then uh, pin the birth of Curie is guy. Okay, very fucking curious. That's gonna be the pin for us. The birth. The story, guys. Um, so he asked basically most basic questions of what, what's up and what am I doing. That's good. You need to know. And I am out. Until I give you the results of who got cleared. This Hunger Games, uh, episode one, secretly. So so far it's just the secret. No no, it's episode second episode actually. And uh, every three days the difficulty resets, so they have to be recleared. Now twice, whoever has all the check most check marks in the end wins the game. How about that? Most check marks wins the game. I don't know. Does it matter who wins the game? Yes. Because I actually don't know who's on the top. I just know. Yeah, Lindsay's on the top, right? Like, duh. No, that's not true. It could be a mistake. 
I have to test it. I have to add another layer of algorithm and figure out, is it true? Is it truly, all you have to do is just learn how to play a violin and I'm, I'm down, okay? I'm down for everything. You basically influenced me to turn me into a fucking zombie at this point. I don't want to... No. No, Lindsay. You're not going to get that fucking credit. Monica can get a similar kind of credit to what I just said. But technically, like, both of them on the same level, I think. I just don't know where that level is necessarily. I don't trust this. Even though they both got cleared immediately. Oh, it's nine people got cleared. Okay. So we'll see. All right, so pretty much all three days are over. And uh, let's see what kind of conclusions I can make out of this. Because definitely not everyone got cleared. And I kind of don't care anymore. <laughs> you know, it's everything is like a science. Every time I take action and do is like a science. I'm gonna add this chunk into the mixer. Blend it in. We have Ben Broad. I think he actually finally graduated. And uh, every single time someone hits a clear, I add them to the list. And I think what I'm gonna do is it, I'm just gonna reset the list eventually. And those who are not clear, they're gonna be threatened, basically, with violence. Why, why you do this? It's a strike. You have to work for me now, assholes. Uh, so we can be a little bit more suspicious about these people, right? Among Us. That's, that's such a fucking interesting game. I will immediately release a next rant. I'm, I'm, I feel prepared, but you can feel, right? Among Us is simply an, a weird adult game. Who would have thought? And this goes into my kind of discovery, right? That the adult, adult world is completely different from the children world. Okay, where I grew up in playing a fucking game. I I helped other people, basically. I hooked people into adventure craft so they fucking see what it's all about. If you... If you weren't hooked enough by my work and by Crack's work, I'm sorry, dude. You missed out on experience. I wanted to push a little bit forward, okay? But I need great opportunities for the future. I can't just settle down, right? I have to make sure that my platform is amazing and keeps f moving forward. I, I don't just re-hook people uh, until, you know, I, I grabbed the entire adventure craft community or whatever. I'm just, I'm glad. You're glad. <laughs> We're all glad in our own ways. It's just a reminder that, yeah. We share some kind of experience, but it's not an adult experience. The adult experience, this is what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to break down this wall by doing some weird project. And it's just one project, it's very specific. It's not confusing at all. Whatever influences me, I just put them in. I just give them some points. I just reward them because I, I feel not rewarded, so I know how it feels like. The, the world of adults, Adults is just so weird. I just watched Pitch Perfect 3, so I finished the trilogy. But the fourth movie is going to come out. And I, I'm really fucking, uh, you know, fingers crossed. Um, I'm not... Yeah. There's, there's probably a cast already, right? Four cast. Plot, plot, we can look into this. This is interesting. 
Shut the fuck up. Just shut it. I don't know. Do we get anything here? Any information? I don't know. DJ Khaled. Yeah, I don't, I don't read stuff, so I'm, I'm just very, very sorry. I wonder if fucking writing and reading is just obsolete now. Because, I mean, I feel similarly to programming. I feel like Minecraft is, again, an introduction to programming, a visual sense of programming, uh, as best as it possibly can get, right? Because it's a 3D environment. This is what allowed me an easy access, and easy access is what hobbies are about. It's like, well, I get easy access to candy sh shop. Of course, I'm going to use that access, right? So... This is why my work was attractive. I had some easy access. I I had my perspective in life. I'm like, oh, this is what I can do personally, okay? And Craig hooked me up with some other easy access, you know, to, to more audience. He fucking highlighted my work. That's all all that happened. Now I'm also I almost like feel a like a spiritual thing can be mapped out as well end of 2018 so it's 2019 but you can tell like we're approaching 2021 somewhere here and 2020 again people say it's bad people will remember it as bad but it's just gonna be a memory fog for everyone I think uh, as long as we can clear this this bullshit this bullshit virus thing, which is the only thing that, you know, did all this, right? But it digs in deeper into our psychology. Uh, while here, I had an extreme experience in the end. And uh, again, the T-Series was fighting PewDiePie. And I'm like, I had the experience exact time when, you know, Things were brewing. So this is why I feel it's it's just appropriate like next year I kinda dedicate it to the same fucking cause. I don't know what T series is, it just kinda hooked me, right? So I do feel like more of a in an adult adult world. This is the start of twenty twenty, so I fucking declare fuck it. I'm a YouTube CEO now. What are you going to do about it? I am. And it doesn't fucking mean anything, right? Well, it does. Because when a child says, I'm going to be an astronaut, that's a that's a start of something. That's cool. That's a check mark right there. And now you have to go that direction. If, and if you fail going that direction, please, please change your mind about being an astronaut. Just please. So I would love to see that progress. And... Uh, when I said I'm YouTube CEO, did I did I change anything? Did I stumble and fall? That's that's what makes this fucking year super solid. Okay? I identified what it is, I identify what I want to be. And uh, I keep going. Okay. And obviously my my core audience does not understand this at all. And building a core audience is impossible. <laughs> I wouldn't say it takes for it's impossible. Building something is impossible. You literally have to take a legacy from the old world. The world that already is created, the world of children is a world that, you know, a world of full of possibilities, but the old world where the money is, you you need special access to that world. You don't get it that easily. It's ridiculously difficult. Okay? So I still have to respect my parents, for example, even though they look like fucking whack jobs, they're doing their own thing, but they're surviving, okay? I still supposed to be glad that I'm I'm alive. I said this in the chat. I'm like, just be glad that I'm alive. Cause that's fucking difficult. Okay, now that I'm becoming an adult after, you know, hitting the wall and spending s seven harsh years, actually, I just told you. My seven years were a scam, but 
technically they were a scam because it was so easy to poke holes into my character right you enter real life and you realize holy shit the world is not uh fucking candies and candies and rainbows uh, unicorns don't exist by the way so that's the first fucking hit in the guts unicorns and rainbows no you get candies and rainbows and rainbows is like good feelings and visual pleasure or whatever but actually rainbows exist and candy exists and they're very accessible actually uh, but you have to you know appreciate it at least appreciate it and at most you have to recognize well uh, the old world that's a very hard thing to do this is why I wrote this comment. I came back I'm like okay whatever but uh, there is the world of money I was frustrated for a long time about the world of money and still kind of am now uh, even just declaring YouTube CEO rank was like a shelter for me to hide from this the virus thing so some people lose their minds and bump into trouble or they create trouble right now for themselves because we know we know we're gonna start canceling people who say something stupid right it's not about who say something uh, like outrageous conspiratorial level but they have to say something stupid something that breaks their identity you know and all of a sudden that's what cancellation is is just reclaiming power the old world looks fucking crazy for, from a child's perspective like what is going on it's not even interesting right but once once you get into it it's important it's like super important to you because that's where power is right as we get a little bit of power and you can come back anytime once you get power you can come back and uh, get hooked yourself on any fucking drugs you fucking want but that's what happens when you don't grow up you just get addicted to a bunch of shit and you can't even fucking tell your story because it's embarrassing it's amazing right so after this shit happens i enter the old world in a different format and then i enter it again in a different format and i have to change my perspective each time and each year and now i'm realizing what i've been doing on the side of like well i have to explore life right it's a quite kind of a big deal and it is a big deal and it is a very tough thing to actually go through and those seven years weren't complete scams they taught me about the real life and uh, probably there's a deeper story behind those years so we'll, we'll see what i can dig out now i spent some time in insane asylum accidentally just bumped my head into this shit because i was insane when i came back from uk i'm like this is this is unacceptable how unacceptable how my mom behaves talks to herself so so badly so irritating and it stopped it stopped this year it stopped but she's doing something else now which is like uh just an overheating cleaner that's what she is overheating cleaner i don't know why she can can afford spending so much water because apparently water is just as valuable as food to me now and she just spends it all uh, i just i'm trying to fucking deal with this I, i'm trying to out respect her decisions so hopefully my parents change and they finally fucking give up settle down on something that makes sense and not just an old world huge scam that happened to them as well so like you know it's it's difficult uh to not get lost into this shit and expecting that i'm i'm gonna be making some fucking adventure craft map still uh i am sentimental that's the discord channel right now it's spawned 
and I have a platform potentially ready to go off like a bomb and it will change my mind you know like who knows I can tease you guys many many times and you know me that's what I do in the end that's the story I've been teasing because it's hard okay I, I don't have special access anymore I, I only have sp uh, special access to the past talking about the past talking about my experience which I don't hear from other people so again I guess you're gonna be hooked whether you want it or not because uh, it's a unique thing <laughs> what else am I gonna say so um, after insane asylum that's one month spent there you know immediately now I'm an enemy of uh, all these medical medical society it's like oh he has been there he, he who cares whether I was or I wasn't but they can't fucking judge a person anymore you realize there's more scams in this fucking place the same way you know you get convicted of a crime like wow now you're a criminal forever that's not true that is just uh, how police can treat you and police has policed the world so much that well the best thing to do is just lie if you need a job you just lie you're not convicted just don't feel that pressure basically don't feel pressured into like submitting that yeah I, I agree I'm a criminal forget about it just pretend you have a bad memory or something pretend to be sick but not sick enough to where you're insane and uh, once you don't hit those fucking self-cancellation sides of police and medics just just pretend everything is fine and you know that pretentiousness is very important in uh, the old world again because a lot of things are just pretend you know uh, a lot of things are kind of a soft you know, it can be molded into something, whatever you want. You have some kind of power as well to define reality. So pretending is actually a very important skill <laughs> that you still need, need, that you're going to get as a child. So you, you have access to the old world as long as you know how to pretend. This is also my pretend act to be a YouTube CEO, which will work. Guess what? It will work eventually. Don't worry about it. It's all about pretend and it has to you know drive your passion because again that's that's another kind of expectation that if you're pretending you're going somewhere in life just just don't just don't go don't steer too much because you're gonna end up in the same fucking direction of like in, into the military or like fucking let, let's call it cheerleading but it's technically, technically always porn, right? So you see these are actually almost like gender defined uh, holes, just ditches. You're just gonna get yourself out of a cliff. There's a specific road of life that you have to follow and there's always a cliff. You wanna feel how it, uh, how it feels like to jump off a cliff? and get yourself smashed of course not it's like there's there's an of course not in life uh, and yeah you can you can run a conspiracy theory of like hey what happens if I just jump off a cliff maybe nothing happens maybe they have lied to us this whole time that's that's why conspiracy th theories are you know low low self-esteem because this name is like very challenging I would say uh, like it's a cl <laughs> it's cliff jumpers man that's what they are cliff jumpers you you really have to fucking nail down that perspective of pretentiousness because if you take things too seriously you become conspiracy theorist and if you don't take things seriously at all you become a, a political uh, just asshole Let's put it that way, just political asshole, cancellation. 
per if you you know if you participate in cancel culture too much you're gonna realize oh shit i'm also getting canceled at the same time <laughs> yeah congratulations we figured it out anyways that is my ending statement i i glad i could make it and uh see you guys in the next rant video <laughs> You bet, man. There's gonna be a lot of adults gonna be like, Oh, man. I need a bar right now. The bars are closing. So who got got the goods, man? I got the goods. Come here, motherfuckers. <laughs>